Monroe Gordon and his lovely wife, Dana. Uh, Monroe, whom you all remember, is Nathan Detroit in our production of Guys and Dolls, and who has gone on to a highly successful singing career. Broadway, Atlantic City, Carlton's Restaurant off the Sunrise Highway, and the Sunrise Lounge. Uh, uh, Monroe is going to sing a song that was made very popular during our high school years. The dream, the impossible dream, to fight the unbeatable foe, to bear with unbearable sorrow, to run where the brave dare not go. Right, the unrightable wrong. What happened to all my classmates? Everyone's so mature looking and overweight. I didn't age that much. Unless I did and I can't see it. All these dentists and veterinarians and antique dealers, cap teeth and bald heads, gray hairs coming in. Sam Jablin has that rug on. My God, it looks like it fell on his head from a window and nobody told him. Some dead already? Annette D'Angelo? Breasts I once caressed lying cold in the ground? God, I wanted to sleep with Polly Weiss. Now she's turned into her mother. And Freddie Kaplan's my age. He could easily be my father's pinochle partner. I'm fucking proof rock. I gotta change my life before it's too late. Pardon me? I'm not happy, Jay. I married too young. Neither of us had the chance to live, to explore. These aren't exactly my office hours. I'm talking to you, Jay, while there's still time. I, I just turned 40. I don't want to look up at 50 and find I measured out my fucking life with a coffee spoon. Um, just try and relax. <clears throat> and uh, put the vodka down. I mean, Robin's lovely. I mean, you know, she's a little neurotic, but... I don't want to spend my life the husband of a school teacher writing the occasional travel piece and, and never knowing what it's what it's like to make love to that amazing sleazy blonde that's married to Monroe Gordon. And the truth is the 